Hello everybody, this is Zax399. Got a couple of comments or suggestions on my channel to, uh, you wondering what I did with all that shredded chicken that I made. I, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I actually cooked 40 pounds of chicken breasts that were frozen and I couldn't get apart. And, uh, trying to tear, I was tearing the chicken breasts apart by actually trying to unstick them together to cook whole chicken patties. So I decided to just go ahead and put half of them at a time in a big roaster oven that I have. And basically I slow cooked it so long that it just fell apart. And I mean, I didn't have to take it apart by itself. I mean, it just fell apart just stirring it uh, after it had been cooking for about five to six hours. And here you see it. And so here one night we actually just used it before I put it in freezer bags to put on a bun with some salt and pepper and made really tasty, uh, you know, chicken sandwiches. You saw how juicy it was when I picked that uh, shredded chicken up with a fork. So that made a really good meal. And then the next night or the next day, my kids love mac and cheese. So I just took regular Kraft mac and cheese and I cooked it up and then I added some uh, warm uh, shredded chicken to it, some extra shredded cheese. And then I also added uh, some breadcrumbs, toasted bread, and then some broccoli. Some broccoli uh, got added in as well. And boy, talk about a comfort food and really, really good. That made quite a meal that is definitely a satisfying meal. So I'll be back right after this with more. Zaxter 99. Hello everybody, this is Zaxter 99. Just going showing you guys the last of my chicken here. This is a full pot of 20 pounds of shredded chicken. Uh, that's exactly what it eat. Uh, looks like now I didn't add any salt pepper or anything like that because I just want to freeze it without any kind of spices when I you know uh, thaw it out and cook each bag or whatever for dinner in the future I'll spice it up at that time but look at the amount of chicken broth you have in that but that is the last bit of our last half of my frozen chicken breast that was all frozen together and I showed you guys in that first video the problem I had getting it separated and I think I just want to go ahead and explain myself why I was so surprised by that box and we just bought this was on sale at the same place uh, this is frozen sausage patties for making breakfast and this is what I was kind of expecting I think something like this anyway now these are frozen sausage patties but you see that I mean how hard is it for him to separate them with a piece of little paper so So even though these are completely frozen, I mean, you can tell these are frozen. These are not thawed out at all. But at least you can actually get out, you know, enough to cook for breakfast or whatever. Like that. And then you can take those. And all it, all it takes is just separate. And all they had to do was separate those chicken breasts with a piece of paper. And then people wouldn't have that problem. But why don't they do that? I don't know. I don't know. That's the problem I had, though. But this is what I was expecting. And I think this is what any human person would expect, even with a chicken breast, is a simple piece of paper between each chicken breast. And they could have avoided the problem that I had, where I had to actually get creative and just cook it all as a big mess and make shredded chicken out of it. So, anyway, that surprises me. Let me know if that surprises you guys at all. I know that this place that I buy this stuff at sells stuff in bulk for, like, restaurants and stuff like that. But still, you know, uh... A restaurant needs wants to cook a chicken breast they can't just shred it if somebody wants to buy a chicken breast or whatever so they actually have to get it apart without shredding it like I you know when I was trying to split it I was cutting into the meat and messing it up so I guess you know if you're a diner or a restaurant or something like that I guess you just thaw it out until they the chicken breast can come apart and you cook it all at once or something I don't know and then I don't know but that was a problem for me anyway because I didn't want to cook 40 pounds of chicken breasts at once like in the oven because I don't have room for one so this was the best way to do it for me uh, but anyway let me know what you guys think uh, thanks so much for watching everybody be sure you leave your comments down below be sure you rate my video give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed my video and be sure you comment and share this video thanks for watching everybody this has been Zach's 99 take care everybody